Yeah, we're at Lowry Park Zoo right now. It's scale time site medical. You yeah, 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 yeah. You know, you know how we do it. Lowry Park Zoo, baby. So uh, follow us along and let's see what they got planned for us. What's up guys, John here. I'm with my good friend, Jason Skeldon. What's up? JasonSkeldon.com, make sure you guys check that out with all that beautiful artwork that you see in my office, in my home. That's the guy. I wasn't expecting that, I like that, thank you. Right? <laughs> my gorgeous wife, Sharice. Huh? And we're here with all our good friends out here. Here at Lion Park Zoo, we're getting a special behind the scenes tour here oh. by Amanda. She said she's gonna surprise us with all these different animals and all these different things that people do not get to see. So I want you guys to stay tuned, follow us around. We're gonna show you guys all these ins and outs of Lowry Park Zoo that you guys wish you guys could see, and now you guys finally can. And you know it's gonna be a good time because when Jason Skeldon and Type Medical Center get together, oh, it's next. always next a good level. time. And, time. and time. we snuck in some champagne. Don't tell me. It's all about balance. We're gonna sip on some champagne, watch this beautiful tour, and get to interact with these it's awesome about, animals. It's about animals, champagne, B12 shots, protein shakes, and push-ups. <laughs> We are super excited that Jason has opted to donate one of his art pieces to Zoo Tampa Always. for our fundraising gala in April. Um, so we thought it would be very appropriate for us to donate him a piece of art and watch that piece of art oh. get painted by one of our um, uh, one of our orangutans. This is today. Yeah. Oh, oh my god! god. Oh. That's so cool. I don't know if I like that. I'm the only artist around here. Hey, this is how everything comes around. You do good things, good things come back to you. That's it. 
Larry Park Zoo, thank you so much for this beautiful bottle of champagne. We're going to pop this bad boy, pop it away from everybody's face. Oh, shit. Oh, 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 All right. I just wanted to pop the bottle. He had to do all his dark shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Gorgeous here. Did you guys like the taste? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here we go. Oh, wait, where's my cup? Okay, smell that. There you go. You want to taste a little bit? That's the taste. Yeah, you guys smell it, taste it. <laughs> Let me surround you with her mouth a little bit. No, like, oh, it tastes great. Yeah, yeah. Awesome, pour it up, she said. Fill it up. What the hell, y'all? <laughs> it's <laughs> called the taste. Yeah, that's, that's, the taste. that's to make oh sure the bottle's God. good, it smells good, good. you're okay with the I, bottle, I, I, I it's not spoiled. Taste. We're past the taste, okay? <laughs> you, you guys can't see from the camera, but this thing is huge. Almost unbelievably big. Cool guys, to learn about Indian rhinos, the regular rhinos, just the way they attack or about their tusks. I never knew it, so I just learned something new today. That's a beautiful thing. Learn something new every day, especially about these beautiful animals in nature. We gotta love our planet, guys. Our planet's loved us, and we haven't done good things, so we need to do more good things. That's a wrap guys, we were here, we got to see all these cool exhibits here at Lowry Park Zoo, they had some special ones set up for us, the encounters were awesome, Jason actually got a painting from an orangutan, the orangutans painted this cool. painting for him, cool. and that's the first time, well the third time in 10 years that they've only let people do these experiences like we got to do today. So very special, honored to be a part of such a great thing. Um, big ups to Jason Skeldon for all his charitable work for the Lowry Park Zoo. We're going to donate some money to Lowry Park Zoo. We love it here. These animals are very important to know about them and how they interact in our ecosystem too as well. So, Titan Medical Center loves being a part of it. Uh oh, look who oh, look who Jason showed up! Skeldon! Jason Skeldon! So remember guys, big <laughs> charitable guy there. Donates a lot of money from his artwork, especially the Lowry Park Zoo. So check out JasonSkeldon.com, TitanMedicalCenter.com. And guys, I hope you loved the footage that we got today and got to visit with us and these animals. Don't forget to watch that one part where I did not want to feed the rhino. So check it out. Watch it again. We appreciate and love you guys. Stay with us for the next one. We got all kinds of new adventures coming at you guys. See ya. Bye. So I get the question all the time. How do you boost your testosterone levels naturally? Well, let's talk about it because it'll make sense to you once we really lay out some of these things. And these are things that you guys can do very, very easily. The first one, exercise, activity. There's proven reviews and studies on this that if you exercise, you will definitely help increase levels naturally of your testosterone. And there are some different exercises that you can do that will help even more. So let's talk about those. So lifting weights will actually benefit you a little bit more than just running cardio. Now HIIT training too will help with increasing testosterone levels as well. So this is just something very simple and easy and it does make sense, right? It's like, well, if I do exercise, I'm probably gonna raise my testosterone levels. You're right, it's that simple and easy, okay? That's one way you can do it. The second way, nutrition, diet. I know you might hear this all the time. You are what you eat. Of course we are. So if you eat garbage and you're putting that garbage to your body, your body's gonna become garbage. You don't want it looking like a trash can. Come on, we wanna look good out there, right? And don't say you don't. I don't care how big you are, small you are, we all wanna be aesthetically pleasing, okay? So make sure you guys are getting in your macros. So what are macros, John, I get this too. So macros are carbohydrates, protein, and fats. And there's a certain amount that you wanna get. 
If you're looking for what your special number is, go online, there's calculators for macros. You guys can find out that too. All right, the third thing, sleep. You would never think, oh, sleep is, sleep is gonna help you. You recover, you rejuvenate, your body needs it. Think of yourself as one of these electronical cars out there. You need to plug yourself in so you get a proper charge for your next day. Because we know that if you get no sleep, you're gonna be brain dead and it's probably gonna decrease or not make you feel or run optimally. And this goes right along with testosterone levels, okay? Vitamin D. Vitamin D is very important as far as testosterone levels. Now, people call it vitamin D, right? But it's really a hormone. And we get this hormone from the sun, right? Or other ways that we can get it. Supplementation, injection, orally. These are some of the different ways that you can get vitamin D and help increase or even keep your natural testosterone levels where they're at. You also want to monitor your testosterone levels. And this is very simple to do, whether you're male or female. We can help you out nationwide. So if you want Titan Medical Center to take a look at where your hormones are at, especially your testosterone levels, and you wanna know, call or text us today, 727-389-3220, and make sure you check out the website, titanmedicalcenter.com. How's it going folks? Cass, nurse practitioner at Titan Medical Center. Here with Chenille, also one of the nurse practitioners here at Titan Medical Center. Today, we're gonna to talk to you about our favorite Titan Medical Center therapies. So, Cass, tell me about one of your th favorite therapies. So many therapies that I absolutely love here at Titan Medical Center. If I had to choose one, I'm gonna have to go with Hercules Potion. It's a good choice. Inner muscular, hour before you train, get that into the muscle. It's gonna help with contraction, it's gonna help with performance, blood flow, vascularity. It's all about the performance in the gym. So, running, biking, rowing, lifting weights. It is a great way to go. Now, I would have to say my favorite is our ECA Stack Plus, which is one of our Good fat one. burner pills. You can actually combine that one with the Hercules Potion for an even more optimal workout performance. With the ECA Stack Plus, that's gonna have your ephedrine, caffeine, aspirin, chromium, and B12. So that's really gonna help with increasing that overall metabolism, energy levels. It's also gonna help with burning fat and carbohydrates as well with the chromium in this in there. Talk about a next level workout, ECA and Hercules Potion, where well, you can't get that over the counter. You can't, and of course, as we already kind of talked about, you know, in one of our previous videos that y'all might wanna go ahead and watch, uh, the injectable format, you're gonna get a lot better bioavailability to improve absorption. Yeah, absolutely, right into the muscle, receptors, travel that medication right to the site for absorption. So it's high potency, folks. I'm talking good pumps, good energy all around. Exactly, so those are some of our favorite therapies. If you wanna find out what yours is, go ahead and give us a call, 727-389-3220. Have a great day, folks. What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. Awesome, good information that you guys can utilize. Honestly, whatever doesn't break you will make you stronger. That is the truth. Every week, if you don't know, we come up with these tips and tricks to help you guys enhance your relationships. And I hope they all see this episode. Whether it's reigniting that passion or just developing a better, stronger relationship. We went through a lot of these trials and tribulations, so we wanted to give you guys the shortcut. I mean, you guys might even do this and not realize it, and your partner might be currently upset at you, so we might help you in that aspect. This is true. <laughs> so, we're gonna... What's up, guys? John here. I'm Sharice. And we are back with another Cupid's Corner. So every week, we're coming at you guys with tips, tricks, and things that will hopefully benefit your relationship and your lifestyle. So usually we're always talking about just relationship things, but I think lifestyle has a big part of that too as well because your lifestyle will ultimately reflect with your partner too as well and they're gonna see that. You guys are probably gonna go back and forth and probably have almost the same lifestyle, I guess, if you're getting really close. If you guys are just new to each other, you guys might have totally different lifestyles and are just at some point you're gonna have to meet in the middle <laughs> to mesh a little bit, right? <laughs> you're gonna have to meet in the middle. You can't be totally off. I mean, I guess you could, but doesn't always work out. Yeah, and then we want to start off by saying I hope everybody had a happy Thanksgiving out there. Oh, you know, I hope you had great times with your family, friends, um, and making new memories because you know Thanksgiving and these holidays, it's all about tradition and getting together, eating some good food, and having a great time with those special people. So it goes right along with that, I guess. If you ate at Thanksgiving, you probably you had eat, a big plate. You better eat or a small plate, or you might have had multiple plates if you had multiple destinations to go to. So our show today is about 
keeping the weight off in the holidays or not gaining the weight during the holidays and still having a good time and being able to eat. So I want to talk to you guys about some different tips and tricks that maybe me and Cherise do or some other people do that we know, our friends, our family, and stuff like that, that we've seen you know, get really good results and be able to enjoy the holidays. So let's get into some of these tips and tricks to help you guys. First off, you want to make sure you're staying active, okay? Now, Thanksgiving just passed. I don't know if you overate or overindulged in some of these different foods or desserts or even drinks. Because remember, when we overindulge in these things or overeat, this can really, you know, help put on those, those pounds and you're intaking a lot of calories. And when you're intaking a lot of calories and you're not utilizing those calories, which are energy, you're storing those calories. And then you're just happy going, <laughs> <laughs> you're like, ah, 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 ah. and you're rubbing your belly like Santa Claus, I was just thinking but that. you're I not think... Santa Claus and you ain't got no presents. To I give. ain't bringing presents. <laughs> <laughs> so I think this is the biggest mistake a lot of people make is, you know, they sit there and they have maybe one or two big, big meals that they're usually not able to get down all the way, or maybe they do and they're not. They're not usually doing this on a day-to-day -day thing as far as calories. So you want to make sure that you're not intaking an abundance of calories that you normally would. So, you know, the normal diet for somebody is usually about 2,000 calories per day, and that's without even adding in or subtracting calories you might be adding in or taking off by exercising. So you kind of want to stay around that limit. Now, like I said, staying active. So if you know you had a big Thanksgiving and overindulged, and that's okay, it's okay to do that during the holidays sometimes, you want to make sure you're getting activity the next day for sure. Because, For sure, because then it kind of settles in. Yeah. I know most of you guys out there, I know you guys wait, right? Because yeah. I feel like there's that little, I call it the grace period uh -huh. in between Thanksgiving and Christmas. Uh -huh. And you just you kind of just wait for your New Year's resolution, right? Oh. And then what happens is in this little time frame, you just don't realize this 30-day period goes by. But you're like, oh, you know, I'll just I'll wait till the New Year's resolution. I'll really clean things up and clean up my act uh, right after the first of the year and really get to it, right? Yeah. But, you know, you don't realize how much you really set yourself back absolutely sometimes in a 30 day time frame you'd be so surprised what you can do to yourself in 30 days for sure you'd be surprised what you could do yourself in a week yeah all right so you know it's it's really about balance absolutely. right it's about balance because me personally i like I like food, okay? I may not look, look like I like food, but I truly do. I love food. Um, and I do, I like to have a few cocktails and stuff like that. That's, yep. you know, I like to enjoy life. This is this is what we like to do, enjoy Absolutely. life. Absolutely. But, you know, the flip side to me, I don't want to look bad, right? So, you know, I, I have to find this that happy medium too. You know, I, I'm not going to go run, you know, eight blocks, you mm -hmm. know, right after I go eat something at Thanksgiving. However... John reminds me, hey, listen, you know, you want to look good in your, you know, Christmas outfits and whatever else you put on for, you know, the holidays. You might want to go get on the treadmill for 20 minutes. Start burning off. I mean, that's... that's, that's he doesn't a, tell me that directly. He might as well, but he doesn't say that directly because that would be kind of mean, right? No. But he doesn't say that directly. He's you like, know, babe, let's, let's go to the gym. Come on. You, come on. Let's go. You want to motivate your partner to make sure they're staying active and remind them about these different things. And not to slack, okay? Right. That, that's just what it's about. It's okay to vacation a little bit, to take some days off, but you don't want to go 30 days per se, right? right? Or all the way to New Year's from Thanksgiving. That just wouldn't work out well for you. I mean, you can definitely gain a lot of weight every week if you keep doing something like this. If you're overindulging in calories, not worried about what you're eating, and you're not exercising or doing any activity, you're really ultimately setting yourself up, your body up for failure and setbacks, like Cherie said. And this is something you don't want to wait on. Be proactive, right? Even just a little bit of activity is better than no activity whatsoever. So that's the big thing. Now, you know, if you're going to one place for the holidays or two places or three places or maybe Spread you went to four. Spread out your calories. Boom. <laughs> she hit it right in the head. So it's all about <laughs> portion control, right? It's not about like us. Like me and Sharice. When we go on Thanksgiving, I think we talked about this last episode, our parents were both divorced. Ugh. So uh, at that point, we had to hit like three so to four different households in one day. It's a lot of driving. It's a lot being on the road. 
It's a lot of people, you know, you get to see, which is awesome. But it's a lot of food, too. Yeah, one of them was my grandma's house, right? And when we went there, let me tell oh, you. Oh, no. She, and bless her heart, I love her. <laughs> um, but, you know, she would not let us leave that. I mean, no. we wouldn't even be there 15, 20 minutes. Yes. And she's like, are you going to get the food? Yeah. I mean, the food's ready. Yeah. Go and eat it. Yeah. Go make yourself a plate. Yeah. And literally, I would go make John a plate because I'd be like, all right, if, if anyone's going to get in trouble for making the small plate, I'll let it be me. So I make John this, like, you know, not even a small plate, it's just like nicely portioned and hand it to him. She's like, that's all he's going to eat. Oh, yeah. He doesn't want to sit. Remember? He doesn't oh, want yeah. a second plate. Oh, yeah. I'm like, oh, my God. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Next thing you know, your feet, it's a dog underneath the table. Oh, like, no. Here you go. Here you go. <laughs> yeah, and Grandma didn't have a dog, so there was no animals. Grandma in the didn't have a dog. <laughs> okay, so there's no feet underneath the table. It's literally you have to eat it down. You know, and you're, you're feeling, you, know, you don't want to disrespect anybody or, or have them feel some type of way of you not eating their cooking or something that's there. It takes a lot of time sometimes to cook, right? And it, it, it makes you feel good. You know, I don't care if you're a man or a woman, right? Yeah. If you're slaving over the stove, which I'm gonna be, I'm actually gonna cook tomorrow. Slave. I mean, under the stove or over the stove. <laughs> not only am I gonna be a slave, I'm gonna be under the stove, right? Good places for me, right? Yes. Anyways, I'm gonna be next to the stove because I want to make some fila. Yes. You want to tell them what fila is? So fila, fila is it's domades in Greek, right? But oh, fila so is good. our version. So if you're Greek. You know, and you might know this if you know some Greeks. There's different islands, okay? And our island is Kalimnos. It's a big rock-like island, okay? And each island has their different version of these domades. And on our island, it's called fila. And the way they make these things, you know, it's the ultimate meal. So if you're really looking for something that has something of everything that you need, so as bad. far as protein, uh. fats, carbohydrates, right? It's got the greens. What it has is a grape leaf. It has... Um, it has lean um, hamburger meat, yep, right? It's sirloin, sirloin, and uh, you know, it's got ground chuck in there. It's got rice in there. Um, a little bit of tomatoes. Onions. I don't really like chunks of tomatoes. He so doesn't it's, see it. It's fine. It's really gr ground up. Don't, he don't uh, so it has everything that you need, right? It's it's all there. It's a really really healthy meal, and it's what us Greeks eat. Now, however, me, this meal <laughs> takes about three and a half hours yes. or four hours to make. Yes. So I mean, after cooking for three or four hours, and you're ex so excited because you're like, okay, then you eat it, and you're like, oh my god, this came out so good yeah. you're waiting uh, i feel that pain right because yeah. i don't cook yeah. so i'm like listen if i cook you're gonna eat it yeah. all right you're gonna eat all of it <laughs> so, so i feel it i feel it yeah so she understands what it is and, and that's what it is so maybe you cook for people or whatever it is you feel a, you know a sense of pride and joy you yes. know when people eat your food and that's it that's you know that's it's a compliment to the chef right and that's what it is and everybody likes to be complimented so these, this is just one thing. So portion control. So you don't have to eat huge abundance plates at every place you go, but just portion control. And if they ask you why you're eating that portion, just by, hey, listen, I've ate like three or four times a day. And you John know, literally I says just, it just like that too. I, he says it with the face and everything. I just wanna, I wanna can't even turn him down. You're like, it's okay. You know, I, I just, I don't want to overindulge and, and, and pack myself to the gills. Uh, this could also make you tired too. So you have to drive. Uh, you're getting you're tired, tired no matter what. Why are you getting you know? tired? What's in, what's in Turkey? So tryptophan. I mean, yeah, tryptophan. Yeah, so that that's one. It's an amino acid, and it actually makes you tired. Mm -hmm. But stuffing Facts. yourself too, as well, Facts. and a lot of carbohydrates too. So if you're eating a lot of breads and stuff like that, this can also add to you being tired. That's why everybody passes out during the middle of the day or right when they get home because they're in a food coma food per coma. se, right? So that's another one. Um, you know, the thing after that is is listen, if you're having a lot of drinks, try to cut them back. Right, it's okay to indulge and have some alcoholic beverages if you're of age, um, but don't overindulge and don't drive afterwards either. I want to throw that in there, mm -hmm. but you know this can add to that too because there's sugars and such that will store in your body as fat if you overindulge there too as well. So you're eating all this stuff, you have a ton of carbohydrates, you're drinking alcohol. This is all going to contribute. So if you really want to rebalance it out, drink water. We think we talked about this the other day water too. Water well. is a, a game changer, guys. Game like, changer. Honestly. Um, if you want to pass me that right there, Art. Sure. So this has been a game changer for me. The I hydro this, mate. I am not, listen, I'm not, I, I, I tell you guys this all the time. I'm not the gym, like, fanatic, right? And yeah. most of the people you find, like, use these, they're yeah. in the gym. I don't use it for that reason, right? So you like to play the game. I like to play the game. And it's cool because it really makes you, like, play it, right? Yeah. So obviously it has all this cool stuff on here. Like, oh, get ready, set, drink, Keeps right? Keeps you motivated. Oh, you didn't drink enough, blah, blah, blah. Uh, when you get to the bottom, you're like, yes, I did it. It's like refill the bottle. <laughs> I'm like, great. But, no, honestly, guys, um, just talking about health purposes and, like, drinking water, 
not just for, you know, just flushing out your body, toxins, all the other fun stuff. It keeps your gut going. Yep. Um, you know, obviously it helps with weight, yep. weight loss big yep. time. Um, and it helps people that retain water. Yep. This helps with water retention. Absolutely. So, you know, increasing the water intake doesn't just do a, a million other things, but for your health, it's been a game changer for me. And you might not even realize it because sometimes you'll grab a bottle of water and how many of you guys take like four or five sips out of the bottle, put it down somewhere yep. and then walk away. Gone. And then all of a sudden you don't, just don't come back to yep. it. Right. Yep. Or you do come back and you're like, I don't know when I had that bottle of water. I just, you know, let me give it to the dogs, whatever yeah. it is. <laughs> so, you know, it's, it's important to drink water. Yep. I'm, I'm, I want to push on that. It's important. So these are some things that you can do be more active or stay active during these times drink water and portion control and all your meals of wherever you're going you make sure you're trying to eat the best food source it's okay to have some desserts some of these different things but make sure you're keeping it in check after that guys tight medical center therapies can help you out we can help you out here at tight medical center we have a number of different therapies that will definitely help you guys shred those pounds if you did gain them and weren't doing the things that we're telling you to do don't worry, we got your back. Or even if you want to be in a new you, new year coming up soon, start on those goals now. Get them going so you're ahead of the game when everybody hits that gym and is trying to jump on that same program <laughs> at the beginning of next year. Or that same machine yeah. at the same time <laughs> yeah. in the same gym. <laughs> you won't be as mad because you're already 10 steps ahead of them, all right? <laughs> so these are just some tips and tricks to help you guys out during the holidays, making sure you guys are staying lean and mean and not gaining a whole bunch of weight that you don't want. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, I'm John. I'm Sharice. We'll see you next week on Cupid's Corner. Make sure if you guys didn't catch it live, DVR it. Or if you guys didn't do that or missed it on the DVR, go to YouTube.com, type in Type Medical Center, and check for Cupid's Corner and all the cool videos that me, Sharice, and Type Medical Center offer to you guys. I'm John. I'm Sharice. And we'll see you next week at another Cupid's Corner. See you then. Bye. Bye.